Hey, what up guys? Thank you for tapping in. Today we're going to clear the IS300 Sport Cross tail lights. Uh, there's already been videos up about it. You've seen Kyle SD Rats. He done it already. Um, I'll leave a link in the description so you could watch the full video because he's going to go more in depth on the bigger. I'm going to go more in depth on the smaller ones because these ones you have to cut them up a little bit different than you got to glue it on because you can't fit this housing onto the Sport Cross at all. So what we're going to be getting into is cutting this housing off and then we're going to glue it onto the sport crosses. I mean, cutting this lens off and then we're going to glue it onto the sports cross. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to do it and get down to it. And then also I want to break it down. Channel is more due to automotive imagery. We're going to be showing more photos, videos, car vans, just a whole bunch of other stuff just got to get everything all put together to to do it so just tap in make sure you comment like subscribe that also helps with the algorithm and everything else and thank you all right guys so you're gonna need a dremel i'll get one of these of course you need lights and then uh you need silicone clear silicone glue all right guys so all right guys, so with the headlights, I already started cutting, and as you can see, you wanna cut right behind that line. You wanna to smoothen it out before we glue it onto the Sport Cross's housing. And then we're going to wipe and clean this with isopropyl and rubbing alcohol and then uh, you're going to want to smooth this out a little bit more. Then we're going to glue it onto the three. Then all this around. Cut it right off and now we're going to slap it right into the wago. Already. So with this, you want to remove this little rubber gasket right here. Just slice it right there on that line. That's where we're going to start cutting. Let's get to it. Now we got that all done. We don't need this. But we gotta smooth this out so we could glue onto it. And then we gotta clean it with isopropyl and rubbing alcohol so we can clean all the dust and everything off. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go get a sander and sand it down.